Hello again everyone, this is Randy, a sewing machine man, and what we're looking at today is a Montgomery Ward. I think they have the model number written under here. What is it? Uh, J1277. And that doesn't mean a whole lot to a lot of folks, but the good thing you need to know is it's made in Japan. This is one of those good ones, made in Japan. And what really makes it good is that in this little gearbox down underneath the hook assembly here, let me pull it forward a little bit, in this gearbox down under here, are steel gears and that's what made this one worth working on i got it from a customer of mine a regular customer a real nice lady who uh wanted to see if we get this thing going and my experience with these has been real good so i said yeah it'll be worthwhile but what i didn't know and i don't even know if she knew was that someone had got a hold of it and turned every screw on it and lost a bunch of screws and of course that's not a problem because I have drawers full of screws from 50 years of accumulation and the bobbin winder was broken off. And of course I have drawers full of, let's see, bobbin winder assemblies assorted. I have drawers full of these from accumulating them over the years. They're not pretty much labeled. They're kind of willy nilly chucked in there and different sizes interchanged with different machines. But Back when these were made, everything was pretty well standardized. A lot of stuff interchanged. So it was really worthwhile having these. Uh, this had some issues where someone who was an unauthorized mechanic, and that's why I always say there should be about a three day waiting period for pliers and wrenches and screwdrivers. I don't know if you can see on here very well, but this is all chewed up or someone put vice grip or something on it trying to set the timing. And they were in this gearbox, which you never go in here to set the timing. All these gears here are on flat spots on the shaft. There's no timing adjustment here. The timing adjustment's over here on the right-hand side. There's a screw there, screw here, and that's where you set. And there's there's no vice grips involved. Unless the thing's been sitting in rust or water or something, I don't know. But there's no need to do that because I set the timing very easily. But it was somebody who was just trying to figure out and because of the damage on the needle plate and the other things that were done with the tension, had to rebuild that. I just got the impression, just a guess, that somebody was trying to sew on maybe leather or denim. And uh, they got carried away and got it out of time and then was just desperate to get it back into shape. And that happens. You know, it's your stuff. You can do what you want to with it, but don't tear it up. So hopefully they didn't take it to somebody who purported to be a sewing machine guy because to be a sewing machine guy nowadays you have to go down to the home depot and get a set of screwdrivers and maybe some wrenches and you're in business the uh, entry level of barrier is not very high so unfortunately you run into people who retired from doing whatever they were doing and they want to be a sewing machine guy and i encourage that and i try to help people do that there's certain things you can do certain things you can't do as clint eastwood once said a man's got to know his limitations and that goes for ladies as well Sometimes you're just better off not doing certain things and putting vice grips on the main shaft and doing something. That's that's wrong. Of course, maybe when they did it, there was no such thing as YouTube. I don't know how, how long it's been out of whack. But now it is back in fine fettle and it's sewing like a house of fire. Tension's on four. The bottom winder works. Everything's the way it needs to be. Now this one comes with a zigzag cam, which this one does not have. There were screws missing up here on this lid. I had to put spacers on there to get it to close. But uh, without a zigzag cam in this model, it is a straight stitch only. You'll still have your three needle position, click, click. And you won't have a buttonhole. You'll have straight stitch and the double needle. You can do that. But there is no zigzag cam. This comes with a box of cams. A number one cam, just like in a Singer 403, you put it in there, it zigzags. If you take it out, it doesn't zigzag. So this one doesn't have the cam in it. I'm going to check with the customer and see if she has the box of cams. Otherwise, she'll be online trying to find the cam so she can make this for being an awesome straight stitch only to a straight stitch zigzag with the pattern. So if you can get one of these, make sure it's all there. Look and make sure nobody's been banging on it, beating on it, and taking screws and stuff's missing. And uh, they're great little machines, made in Japan, steel gears. They'll get it done. They have their limitations, but I would recommend this machine if you can get one at a good price. And generally, you can buy these for under $100 just by anywhere you find them. Estate sales, garage sales, you know, secondhand thrift stores and online auctions. Just when they ship it to you, make sure they pack it. It's an alloy frame, so it's not as heavy as some. If you've got the carrying case, that's good, too. Nice little machine. Little Montgomery Wards. Zigzag.